with all Miss Funky Dineva Ross. And my hair is made like Barbara Walters with a little bit of Tom Brokaw on this side. <laughs> and I am sitting here with Hollywood has been Miss oh, Lisa Wood. Has been. Oh, don't do it. Don't, do it. don't do it. Don't do it. You know I had to shade you a little bit, girl. How you love you? to shade. I love you. You love to shade. You know, your fashions love to shade, bitch. Oh, my fashions? Oh, really? Girl. From where? That you said that before. You said that, sweetheart. You know I don't shop from J.C. Penney, yeah, babe. Well, we'll get into that. Well, the girls' we, schedule points gonna dry up a little bit. So who said that? Know, Which girl? I'ma tell you. No. I'ma oh, tell you. <laughs> How have you been? You're looking good. I'm good, babe. Good. I'm good to see you. It's good to see you too. Want to have some fun? Of course. Let's have some. Fun. I'm here. So let's just jump right on mm -hmm. into it. Let's do it. JC, Penny, JC, Penny, and Sears. We, no, but guess what? Go, 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 no, because I'm thinking about so Sears, because I like Sears and my EJ. Like, they have, like, cute little so clothes for like kids. So you dress like a little boy. No. Do I? Well, I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have some fun. Yes. Hi, baby. This I'm little sure. Asian persuasion, oh, right. bitch. I know. Hi, baby. We know these girls are coming here. Right I love you. I met Carlos and Vita with Derek J. Yeah. And Vita, long, long before I even yes. thought about doing any of this. Right. But and I didn't know who he was. He was just some boy standing next to Derek, and I was I paid his ass dust. And, and Derek, and, and, he's like, and not then, anymore, and then not anymore. Find out who a girl is. Hey, 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 Okay. I don't. I think um, everything happens for a reason, and it's timely. You know, I, when we first started off, it was very, very organic. And I feel that a lot of people that are on the show, that comes on the show, they feel the need to perform. Mm -hmm. And so they hit below the belt. And one thing that the originals didn't have is that we were feeling stuff, and Kim was like off her rocket sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But we didn't really hit below the belt. And so, like, I probably would be mortified to be on, like, the show, and because I'm like, I'll, I'll wait for the cameras to wrap up and be like, can you say that again? Now, I remember when you did exit the show, a lot of the conversation was you left because you felt like a lot of it was contrived or scripted and so on and so forth. I remember seeing that in the blogs. And what perplexed me when you joined Hollywood Divas is because Mr. Carlos King was over Miss Housewives, and Mr. Carlos King is over on Miss Hollywood Divas. So what don't happen in your spirit now that you wasn't with it then, but you're with it now? See, the girls said your coins don't dry it up. So the girls don't know, obviously, <laughs> anything because Carlos, when he started out, didn't start out running the show, but he ended up running the show. Hey, hey, you hear me? So, so hey. well, look at God. So I'm saying he didn't start there. Mm -hmm. So, but it comes from a trust factor. And so then when you go to Hollywood Divas, now you're dealing with actors. Mm -hmm. They have a built-in fan base, right? And, and, and so now they're not willing to just perform for anything because they have their fan base and they have their integrity and character to keep up. Like when you get people that are used, like just excited to be on television, they will do anything to be on television. You understand what I'm saying? I write movies and I, I mean, I saw some of the questions on your thing because uh -huh. I posted, I say, uh -huh. they're like, Oh, Lisa, is she all of a sudden now writing movies? Uh -huh. I've been doing this for over 25 years, baby. Uh -huh. And just because you didn't know that, you know what I mean? But, but Carlos didn't start off running the show, but he ended up running the show, uh -huh. and he's running the show on Hollywood Divas, and I trust him. And it's just a different dynamic. Okay. Now, about your coins. <laughs> when you were on the Housewives, I remember, I said, oh, my God, she is so busy. She had a fashion business, a jewelry business, a real estate business, mm -hmm. was in everybody business. Where are How was I businesses? in everybody's business? Girl, the people want to know, Lisa. Okay, let me, let me let me run it down. This. Let me run it down to you then, okay? So start from the first one you said. She had a fashion Fashion. Business. Sold all of those dresses. Closet all dress. of them. Done. Done. Sold. Okay, like, done. like I had real fashions. Okay. okay? You, you didn't make sold all of those clothes. Okay. Oh, I made the money. You, no, no, no. Did you make any more dresses? Oh, no, no, because you know what? My passion is writing and producing. Gotcha. It always okay. has been. So done. Yeah. She had a jewelry business. I still create jewelry. Gotcha. And when I'm running my lines, I create jewelry. Gotcha. And so people commission me to make them if I have time. Gotcha. And I'm still a real estate broker, and baby. I'm still, still doing everything. Broker. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, boss? For me, what I loved about The Real Housewives of Atlanta is that it gave us a day in the life of people's lives we ordinarily would not have seen. Right. My issue now with reality television is that because pioneers like yourself have created this blueprint for what the success looks like, the moment somebody gets on reality TV now, they're forcing product down your throat, they're claiming businesses. What do you think about it? It's made reality TV so hard for me to watch because every other word is, I got a business. I'm selling waist trainers. I'm selling tea. I do this like, girl. You know why? I'm going to say this. And um, first season of Housewives of Atlanta, I had already produced a play 20 mm -hmm. years ago. They wouldn't allow me to say that. Mm -hmm. Let's keep this honest, all right? Okay. So, so then all of a sudden, everybody has all these businesses. I've always been a businesswoman. That's just... I mean, and people ask me about entrepreneurship, and it's like, I was born this way. This is just what I do. Mm -hmm. And so, but let's keep it real. This is, this is the only platform that you can advertise. It's essentially a commercial, mm -hmm. is it not? Mm -hmm. So as an actor, it makes sense because we have to follow the script. No, you, you cool, boss man. We can't sh shut the thing. We don't mind. He didn't walk through twice, baby. He trying to be seen. Right. Now, coming from that housewives background, did it give you an advantage over these girls coming into this show? You know what the advantage it gave is just, um, yeah, I, because I've been through it. Did you know? On, on, on the, I mean, that's one of the biggest, it, it was huge, you know, yeah. and we had fun and yeah. we had fun. And, and so knowing that and not to take it all serious and not like, you know who you are. Mm -hmm. So I read stuff about myself and I'm like, I mean, I've screwed people I've never met before. Right. You, you understand what right, I'm saying? Right, I'm everything but a robot. Right. I've been on drugs. I've been, I, I mean, it's crazy stuff. And, and so I'm like, no, I'll have my wine. Let's, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, hello, wine. We're going to take a break for the wine. Salute. Oops. And we. For the wine. For the wine. For the wine. Do it for the wine. Do it for the wine. And I'm doing it for the wine. <laughs> so I have my wine, but at the end of the day, it, it's, it's never been anything like that. Mm -hmm. So it's. It's hard to like read that stuff about yourself, but it, you know who you are. So when you see yourself in a mirror and you keep your surroundings and your loved ones around, the great people around you that trust in you, believe in you, and you trust them, right? Mm -hmm. And you know their spirit, your circle has to be real tight. Now, before we started filming, I overheard you talk about your sons are now of driving age, so on and so forth. Oh my God. Which means clearly they can read and they go on the blogs and all this. How does your children and your family the people who are naturally that love me, oh my love God. you and are you gonna fight to the death for you. How do they deal with some of the it, 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 It's rough. And I told them, like my brother, first season of Housewives, he would like, go in and my my friends, Crystal Inga, my, like my cousins and so my even my sons, they're in the industry, right? Mm -hmm. They're doing music. And I told them, I said, the minute you respond to something that one of my fans said about me, I'm gonna delete your page. Like you, you, like no. Right. They don't know me. Right. So, so you can't handle this industry if you're going to like. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. So of course they're boys. I have boys. I have three boys, Wait, and so they're so ready to go in, right. right? And so I'm like, there's no need to. I'm a strong woman, and I got this. And if they don't know me, they don't need to know me. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Now, Lisa, girl, <laughs> you don't have some good men's bitch. <laughs> you are crazy. You, you know you crazy, right? Ed you, was so goddamn fine. That man could have had my whole check as long as he gave me $10 for lunch, okay? <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, I saw him the other night, believe me. I was at our Harold's Chicken. I see him often. I was at Harold's Chicken. How is co-parenting with that fine-ass man when you go to drop your son off and you pull up to the house and you blow the horn and that's fine-ass man just walk his ass outside. How do I handle it? Yes, God. Because that fine-ass girl is coming to get the child. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> child. But co-parenting co with Ed, how's that going? It's great. Good, are you guys? I mean, we, we're friends, and we started out as best friends. Good. And so we're in a great place. Yeah. I can honestly place. say that was a relationship that I hated to see dissolve. You guys were my favorite couple when you were on Housewives. 
and it was funny because of the energy between you guys. It was real. It was so No, it, 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 was, it was fun. No, it was real. It was fun. And, and he was my best friend. So things happen in life and shifts happen. And, and so we get it back together. And he, he and I are still close. Now, and we co-parent. You're driving down the street. Mm -hmm. Got your hair done. Got your nails done. Smelling good. <laughs> You driving down the street, got your radio. I don't know if I'm even ready, ready for this ready damn question. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready. Radio up loud. Uh -huh. uh, what we playing? What we playing? Then a Keith Sweat song come on, bitch. I'm going to start singing that bitch. You're going to start singing that bitch. freaking right. Lulee. He is a legend. You got to give him his just due. What you feel me? What is your favorite Keith Sweat song? Oh, my God. Like, he has hits. He, I mean, you know what? Like, when I was young and we were married and, and, and I mean, at the concert, I'm like, damn, that's a hit. I'm like, damn, that's a hit, too. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's it. I mean, he has hits. And uh, the bag he's playing on. On and on and on and on. Stick. Oh, oh no. stay. What was I'm that? From Miami. Stick. When you, when what you, that mean? When you in it, when you in the moment, you stick. Stick? Stick. What that mean, stay? No, it means stick. Like, you stick, stick what? It. it. <laughs> <laughs> Are it's, there it's any Keith Sweat songs out there that are about you? And I would tell you, really. I would, no, <laughs> let me see. Well, you might need to listen a little closer. Me, uh, now, just for, just for us out there, where, where exactly in the timeline of his career do you guys? Oh, so so, so so you can trying, know trying you're to trying to out, time I'm frame trying to it. Out, so are you don't stop the love, or are you make it last forever? No, I wasn't make it last forever. Okay. Okay. You twist it. Or nobody. I didn't make him twist it, damn it. Are you nobody? Yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, you uh, nobody, if you have me, you uh, you'll be nobody. nobody. Bitch. <laughs> 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 You're going to be sucking your thumb. Yes. You better suck so that thumb. What's Pacifier. Your what's your favorite Keith Sweat song? All of them. I'm not lying. Okay. How Deep Is Your Love? How Deep Is Your Love? Um, how Deep Is Who's? Your Honey, I'm, I'm Asian, baby. I'm tight yeah. and right. <laughs> I'm black, so I can't, I can't have five. Ah, I'm half black too, damn it. Edit this part. Mm -hmm. We're going to get serious for a little moment here. Mm -hmm. In sports and entertainment right now, there's been a recent trend where these men's been taking these hoes, kids. You know, Dwayne Wade and Siobhan Wade, Usher and Tamika, mm -hmm. Luda Chris and that lady that do maid service at the hotel, whatever her name is. Tamika she didn't Fuller. do maid well, service. She do it now because she's trying to get her children back. That is terrible. Is that true? What are, are you just saying that? Uh, baby, let me, one thing, let me tell you one thing about me. Let me stop you right quick. I don't make the news. I just report it, okay? That's what the people say. That's okay, what, but you can't be like, going by the people because well, also Wendy Williams said I was on drugs and she said the well, same we, thing. We're getting, and and we're I ain't never that. been on drugs. We'll okay, So you got to report it. And if you're going to say it. Well, or just report it all. And we'll get to that. Okay. But what do you think about this trend now with these? You in the South, baby. Okay. And, and so some people don't understand that. And you have more money, more power. It happens. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's funny because, you know, unfortunately... We do live in a society that looks down on a woman or shames a woman because she don't have her children. She must be unfit. She must be on drugs. Something is, ooh, why she don't have her children? She too busy over there doing them shows. She need to have her children. What do you say to the critics that, you know, because it, it is, you know, you know, you, you know what? I'm sure yeah, yeah, uh, of course. And, and so I, I would read some stuff and, and it hurt me because people just believe what they read. And so my thing is that my my path and my steps are ordered. So the people that know me, know me. And the people that don't are not supposed to know me. So if you judge me by those blogs, then maybe God is keeping me from you. I mean, like, because I'm not cut from that same material is what I'm saying. So then, because if you sit with me for two or five minutes, you'll be like, that's not who she is. So it's okay. So there's a lot of perceptions with people on television. So if you believe that, run with it. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Now, the people have said, Lisa was a drunk. Lisa was on pills. Lisa was unfit. That's why she doesn't have her children. Pills, or didn't. drunk, no. And let me ask you this. In your words, your story, and you don't have to get too deep because I know it's a personal issue. Why did you not get awarded? I'm going to need y'all to get the book 
called Evolve and buy it because if I give you too much, you're saying Barbara Walters, ain't nobody dropping me a check to do this. But I'm saying read the book because at the end of the day, if you know me, you know me. And so we know that living in Atlanta, things are different. And so if you have common sense and people that just like read this and they believe everything they read, it's unfortunate mm -hmm. because you're missing out on your blessing. So you've already formed an opinion about someone that you have no idea about. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So so my thing is, if you're supposed to miss me, maybe God is protecting me from you. So it's fine. So they need to get the book, though, because if I tell you too much, then there's not much. You know, mystery is OK. It's mystery is OK. It's OK so, for um, people to believe certain things. Lisa had its laid like media training one on one. <laughs> You see how Miss Girl dodged and deflected my question. Then what she did was use this platform evolve, to evolve over to where she could make her coin. Ah, to evolve. Take the answer. But evolve. Absolutely. It's effective vision over life's various events. It's I'm called Evolve. No, I mean, it's, it's real because I'm sharing things that are really, really real. So I've allowed so many years to go by and you know people what? to like my favorite, assume my things. My favorite saying is pay me for my pain. Well, you know what? Hey, bitch, if you went through it, no, bitch, you better send them to that book. You went through it. You might as well pay me for it. But my you know pain. what? You know what? You know what? I went through it because God allowed me to go through it because he knew I would share my testimony. That's real uh -huh. for me. Uh -huh. Right? So, so my thing is because people just want to get the answer, then if you want to know really more about me, then, then, then read. Like, I don't need to just give it to you, then search. And if you don't see it, maybe you're not supposed to see it. So when you see me out and you're saying, oh, Lisa, I'm really a fan, and, and you're giving me shade, you're supposed to give me shade. It's okay. Child, did y'all like part one of that interview? Lisa Wu gave all the tea, honey. Be sure to tune in to part two of the interview, Hollywood Diva season two, on Tuesday, July 14th. You don't want to miss.